What's the best sex advice you ever got and from whom? Buy her pizza first. I've made that mistake. From Reddit. Advice from a friend. And it has served me well. While you could take it as a reference to certain sex acts. I mean it mainly as a reference to state of mind. There will be times where things don't work like they should. Or they work too fast. Or something embarrassing happens. It doesn't matter. Just relax. Don't worry. And move on. In the bedroom. You're both there to have a good time. So just enjoy it. Weird story. I bought a Snoopy book for 10 cents at a swap meet. But the cover had been glued over a sex advice book called How to Be an Erotic Man. I learned how to manipulate and how to find the clit and the G-spot. In other words, I learned how to eat vag from Snoopy. Not to me, but on my best friend's 18th birthday which he had brought his cute new girlfriend to I watched as his three older brothers busted into his room and quite literally showered him in condom packets. All while saying if you're gonna get wet wear a raincoat. My grandpa told me that I should always date women with small hands so that when they hold my dick it would look big in their tiny hands. I'm a woman and I recognize this might seem self-explanatory to others but to me it took some talking out. Move. Literally just move. Friction feels good and a lot of men will be very surprised and impressed if you actively participate in the sexing. By moving your hips back and forth. Touching them. Etc. Surprise. Men like a partner that doesn't lay there like a fish. I regrettably used to lay very still and let him have his way with me. While sexy in theory. No one wants to f*** a dead fish. My ex-boyfriend gave me this advice while we were f Best advice I ever got was from a bodybuilder with a roid gut named Big Lenny. You can teach anyone to be a good lay. But you can't teach anyone to be a good wife. Substitute wife for husband at your leisure. When I would go out my dad would tell me, behave, if you can't behave be safe, if you can't be safe, name it after me. This is my daughter Garth. Never put your fingers somewhere you wouldn't put your face. My granddad, he was talking about power tools, but I find it applies elsewhere. It's lower than expected. Just poke around and eventually she'll grab your dick and put in the right spot for you. Sometimes you gonna bust in two pumps but don't act ashamed and do your best to give you both a good time even if it happens. Also comfort with a person makes your sex better. Both from dad. I don't know why he brought it up was kinda random at the time. But both have held true. I've came early twice. Once I acted embarrassed the other time I laughed it off and kept going by other means. The latter was a positive experience. The former was not. My high school psych teacher. He said it to the whole class. And I quote. Every girl or boy you might like is exactly the same as anyone else. They are people. Avoid bad people and seek out good people. Always make her pee after sex. My Tinder hookup. Also I was instructed by her to keep going with the same intensity. Same rhythm and same all that even if it meant my arms, fingers, mouth, jaw, throat, neck muscles might give way. If it meant she could reach an orgasm. If a girl says keep doing that then keep doing it. Don't change anything. Unfortunately I've found the fastest way to make a guy come is if I say oh don't stop. Damn it. Making sex is like Chinese dinner. It ain't over till you both get your cookies. Remember that I said that. Old man Dunphy aka Alec Baldwin from outside Providence. If you go down on him and he doesn't reciprocate. Dump his ass. Only good advice my dad gave me. Which was one I thought was the most WTF at the time. Sex is like a can of Pringles. Once you pop you can't stop mom. This may have made me wait a long while. I didn't meet my dad until I was almost 20 and the guy was a biker with absolutely no filter. This was by far some of his best advice. Sadly. My mom couldn't stop and it led to dealing with shitty relationship drama by proxy for years of my life so I'm happy I've come this far with a somewhat healthy attitude towards sex and relationships. Never decide for someone else that they are too good for you. Always better to go too soft and be asked for more than to go too hard and be asked for less. Blow jobs, no teeth, lots of slobber, make it look really fun, and do it for him regularly. College FWB. Sister-in-law told us to ditch the PJs and sleep naked. Frequency of sex increased almost immediately. 
Would this work for me as a single male? Asking for a friend. Always use a condom. Otherwise you have an accident and have to name it. Thanks dad. F*** me. My wife. Some 28-year-old stoner PhD student when I was 22 and squatting my buddy's co-op house for the summer. Be generous and be everywhere man. Have infinite hands. A full mouth. And come from every angle. But do it slowly so she never knows what's next. When you want her to finish. Focus on the things she liked the most. This advice has always stuck with me and has worked like a charm. Just so you know. One-fifth the population has genital herpes. Good luck out there. My grandfather's final words to me. I tell my kids. If you think getting a condom ruins the mood. Imagine what a crying baby will do for it. During sex ed in sixth grade. Our male teacher was educating us boys on the clitoris and how sensitive it gets. He went on to tell us that it's so sensitive a girl could cross her legs and rock one back and forth to masturbate. My buddies and I spent the next few weeks spotting all the girls masturbating at school. That seems pretty f weird for sex ed. Like cooking spaghetti. Throw her panties against the wall. If they stick, she's ready. Some dude on the TV interrupted a live news broadcast to tell me to f her right in the pussy. And it works like a charm. Thanks dude. My pops was ahead of the curve. He had multiple frank conversations with me from the age of 10 through my teens. I could tell that talking about sex with me made him uncomfortable. But he made sure I understood what was going on around me. Aside from always. Always. Always wear a condom. He also taught me about the importance of consent before no means no was even a popular phrase. He was a good man. Your cock shouldn't go near her till she's slick as a baby seal. Tormund Giantsbane. No idea where I heard it, but boy it does the trick. Wrap it up and take the condoms with you grandpa. Don't be afraid to discuss what you like and don't like in bed, including weird kinks. Never gonna live that fantasy out of your partner doesn't even know about it. Can you shit in this moldy banana peel? I thought you'd never ask. I never got any in-person sex advice but Nina Hartley's video about how to go down on a girl, solid f gold and the most useful instructional video ever. Ladies, never trust the man. Use a diaphragm. 70 year old give no f biology teacher at a Catholic high school. Since our school's version of sex ed was abstinence only, she snuck as much practical advice as possible into the reproductive system section of her class. Got away with it too, because she was a little old lady. You want to look for someone who shares your values. Realistically if I had been doing that I wouldn't have gotten with your mother. But anyway, my dad. My sister told me to keep baby wipes next to the bed for the clean up. It works so much better than asterisk Kleenex. Also you're literally wiping up babies. Tell him exactly what you want him to do, a guy the first was casually seeing. After two long-term relationships three years and four years with zero orgasms. This little tip made orgasms regular with my current boyfriend. Seems obvious. But I know lots of other women who have experienced something similar. Her enjoying sex means she will want you again. Focus on her now. She will please you more later. If she clean, always eat the box first and get her off. After that you're free to do anything really. You've already made it. Sex isn't over just because the guy is done. Tilda what I stand up for after so many shitty selfish encounters Tilda. Never be a dead f From my insane always drunk manager from my first job at McDonald's. He told me to keep it fun and it will always be good. If you look hungry, you're going to starve. Told to me by my older cousin when I started college. Stop trying to suck dick like they do in porn. Find your own style and comfort level and it's a win-win. I used to be so awkward and now I actually enjoy doing it. Also enjoying it is half the battle. Men like it much more when there's some enthusiasm. My dad is a union painter. He always used to tell a joke that goes do you know why women love painters? Because we know it's 90% prep. 10% finishing with long smooth strokes. Works for both painting a room flawlessly and satisfying a woman. You gotta handle it like CNN and the Weather Channel. Constant updates. 
Banky Edwards. FWB in college. The more you worry about sex the less you'll get it some guy on Tumblr a few years ago. Does go f yourself count? Practice first on bobcats till you get it right. My girlfriend's dad. If it's wet warm and not yours wear a raincoat. My granddad when I was 12. If you can cook and make them laugh you're already halfway up their leg. The rest's up to you. Don't f it up. My grandfather told me that I could put my thumb over the end of my closed fist when I masturbate. I would be able to hit bottom and feel like a real man. No one else finds the idea of your grandpa giving you advice about how to masturbate odd. I'd be mortified to even discuss such a thing with any family member. My parents and grandparents had a twisted sense of humor that luckily I inherited. At my grandmother's funeral my dad put some of those funny x-ray glasses on her face to see how everyone would react during the viewing. <laughs>